another video from uh, Flowhow. In this video, I want to show you how you can control the surface mesh uh, by different uh, preference settings or or modifying uh, some of uh, the mesh. Um, but first of all, uh, uh, I've copied the uh, eight parts, uh, which are very small, and the seeding for these parts is. Uh, um, is uh, I, I have chosen 0.4 um, because then I don't get any um, mesh defects and uh, I get a uh, good representation of um, of the thread in the top. So uh, the seeding, I will just take them again. Yes, and uh, yeah, and I say 0.4. Normally, I take around the wall thickness. If it's a big part, of course, I m make it a bit more coarse, and then I make some mesh seeding in uh, spe specific in the ends. Apply. And now you see this one is uniform. If I need to s this uh, uh, seeding type to be uh, uh, different, if I want uh, extra fine seeding any places. Um, and <clears throat> these kind of preferences can be uh, changed by these two. This one only changes the, uh, when you have to do a special node seeding, uh, if it turns out to start as uniform or how to fine tuning. So yeah, you can say it's, click here, then yeah, normally I just use the uh, how to fine tune. So um, first step is to get some mesh on without any specific uh, 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 mesh control. And then I uh, just generate the mesh. like this and uh, maybe it's a bit fine but anyway it's uh, for me it's uh, okay for this presentation uh, you can see the thread is uh, represented uh, okay <clears throat> so um, this is a good mesh if the mesh follows the part and is not too fine or too coarse uh, it's a good mesh because uh, what is most important is uh, the solid mesh, uh, how many boundary layers, or if you're using e-design, how many uh, elements you have through the wall thickness. But uh, now I want to show you how to optimize some edges on it. <clears throat> I can, uh, I'll just delete the mesh here. The easiest way to delete a surface mesh is uh, just click on it and uh, with the seeding and then uh, say, okay, I don't want it to reset it. And then it opens uh, this uh, dialog box and say, now you can see it's here out of fine tuning because I put the tick mark on there. But um, I'll go in again. And <clears throat> if I want some special mesh, I can, uh, for example, if it's these edges up here, I want some special edge um, uh, mesh seeding. I can click and keep shift down and click and click. But, um, and if you want to release one, you keep control down and click again. And uh, if you want to release all, you can click outside the part. But normally I don't click a single um aligns i normally just uh, take like this and say okay the thread here i want a bit uh, finer and of course i shouldn't use this uh, it's grayed out now because uh, all the the lines um, feature lines i've taken now have different um, uh, numbers of segments um, because a small line here has only two segments and this one has much more so if you pick more lines, the right way to use a mesh seeding is normally down here. And now it's grayed out. It just means that um, 
it's not the same uh, um, distance between the nodes. So I'll just give it, say, 0.1. Ah, 0.2 maybe. It was really like this. And then I can try to generate and look at the difference. And now you can see I did a finer mesh here and I have a, a fine mesh there. And to the next one now, we want to see this one. And uh, in this case, I'll give it a, a seating. And this one, yes, uh, I'll give it a 0.4 again. Like this. And I go to mesh. And I turn this one on and put it to 45. Then it looks at the curve. It's a curvature based refinement. So it automatically update the, the surface mesh based on the geometry curvature. So if I say generate now, generate. You can see now, <clears throat> even though I didn't make any special uh, um, special optimization here, I got a more fine mesh where I have uh, some curvatures, some curves, uh, or some uh, double curved or curved uh, surfaces. So um, this was uh, 45, then you get uh, something like that. but um, if I change it for the mesh 15, like this, I go in and make a new uh, seeding on this one. Yes, 0.4. And then I generate. And now you can see I got an even finer mesh. So um, without any tick marks on in the preferen preferences, you got a mesh like this. OK, in this case, because our general node seating is uh, OK. But you, if you have a bigger part with a rough, it's uh, maybe a good idea to use this uh, auto uh, or this what was this turn on curvature based refinement on. And now I end up, uh, this one, this one, one was with a, a manual uh, refinement and these were with automatic. Um, then there's also another possibility. Uh, I'll just uh, go back here and say, um mesh solid i'll take this one now i don't care about this one and then i'll give this one a seating yes let's give it a new if you give it a new seating it resets uh, uh every the preferences but uh, in the parameters up here there are in the advanced bottom here, I have a possibility to adjust uh, how uh, the surface mesh should uh, develop. So, um, for example, if I have uh, this to automatic, this is the default value, then I can go to manual and say um, uh, gradation. Uh, uh, if I, for example, put that for two and say, okay, like this, now it's inherent for the coming. So I need to change it uh, in the future. <clears throat> if I want the default and normally I always run with the default, but if we now look at the, how it generates uh, surface mesh, 
yeah, it may not do anything much different, but it actually made a an arrow. Yeah, you can see here on top here, you get some different uh, um, meshing and down here also it, it gives you how fast can uh, the mesh size grow if it's for example have a it, it makes most sense if you have curvature based refinement on um so we can just try to put that on but uh, my recommendation is uh, just use the uh, default i'll go again here and say automatic okay um <clears throat> then you also have the possibility of course to uh, do different refinements uh, through the fix mesh um the easiest refinement of a surface if you want something spe specific there is to use the rebuild here and tick this one off and say okay i need this one and then uh, uh, then i go for uh, spread from hit face uh, no but um i'll just uh, with alt down i can take a window inside here and i can go here and then i can fix unselected elements yeah yeah but i'll give it point two maybe and you can see then I get an area that is fine, but I got some uh, bad elements. But anyway, uh, I can just use this fixed aspect ratio. I'll just, yeah. Now I have a uh, really shit because I have some uh, sharp edges on this one, I think. Um, Exit. I'll just give it a CD. And check. And check. Yeah. I got some sharp edges here. Um, another way to control a mesh, for example, if I want uh, some an edge like this or some other edge, I can uh, use a uh, a different tool uh, could be, uh, uh, and that's uh, the, um, for example, move note and split. So uh, it's very manual, but in some cases it's uh, useful. But I can use the line here and say midpoint to midpoint. I want a, um, a row of uh, elements uh, fitting to this. Uh, curve so i go, i follow the <clears throat> I, I follow the curvature a bit more so uh, in this case i'll just say back to fit to fi split this edge this is this 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 and also this one and you can see there's air between these so I actually need to drag this one up to this one. I secure that I have per perpendicular uh, on, and then I mark this and say uh, move note. Then I just take this note and click here, click, click, a lot of clicking. And this one also. Escape. And now I have a free edge, but I just delete this, mark it, hit delete, and say fill hole. Oh, fill hole. Enter, enter, like this. And now <clears throat> I just want to rebuild on this one, but I don't, if I hit rebuild, it will flatten it out again. So I want the easiest way is just to uh, extract elements and say, Okay, I need to extract this, keep shift down and like this. Now I have two meshes here. I'll just take this one, rebuild. And in this case, I do like this. And also rebuild. Yes, you can see now I got something that 
follows the geometry a bit more. Of course, in this case, it doesn't uh, have any influence on the final uh, filling or warp results or whatever. So, um, but these was some of the steps that I want to show. You can all also uh, do a lot more after you've done uh, the meshing with uh, these uh, tools, but normally I just use uh, uh, the settings uh, oh, from here and say this one, uh, put it to 45 or 30, maybe 30. But if you have a big part that you get a lot, uh, too much, much to too many uh, elements, um, then uh, the solution is found in uh, these preferences. Okay, see you. Bye bye.